Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to learn how to create this simple logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugins but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And this animation is going to be for beginners, so we are going to learn all the essential techniques that are required to create a simple logo reveal. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses, all links are available in the description. And and you can join my motion pro membership as well which is just for 59 rupees you'll get access to new videos motion graphic tutorials advanced after the effect tutorials etc etc and it will be your support for this channel as well and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any much more time let's get started <laughs> So to create any kind of a logo, you need logo first. And now I have this Intel logo. I got it from Google. Okay, you are free to choose any logo you want. But because we are going to create a simple animation and the kind of technique that we are going to use today is easily applicable for this logo. But if you think that this technique is uh, applicable for any other logo, you're free to do that. But guarantee we are going to choose this logo. So I have this Intel logo and I have opened this file in Photoshop. It's a simple JPEG file. Okay. Now, first thing first, we need to remove this background. So you can select your uh, layer. You can go to the eraser tool and select this magic eraser tool. And all you need to do is simply click on this white background. Wherever you will feel that there is a white, simply select it and delete it. Okay. And uh, yeah. Okay. Over here, you don't need to delete it because it's a very small object. Now. We are going to select your rectangle selection tool, which is over here. Shortcut key is M. Okay. Now I want each and every step should be on a different, different layer. So in After Effects, I can animate that easily. So let's select this uh, cube over here and hit Ctrl X to cut it out. Create a new layer and press Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. Let's double click on this layer and let's call it as cube. Okay. Hit enter. And then we are going to hide this because then it will be uh, easy to differentiate. Then I am going to select this. I'll hit Ctrl X to cut it out. I'll create a new layer and I'll press Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. And I'm going to call it as Art. Okay. And let's hide this. Then I'm going to select this N over here. Hit Ctrl X to cut it out. Create a new layer and press Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. Double click on it and let's call it as N and hide this ok let's hide this and select this T uh, I mean select this text layer hit ctrl x on this T create a new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste in place Double click on it and let's call it as T and hide this. Then select this E, hit Ctrl X, create a new layer and press Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. Double click on it and let's call it as E and hide this. Then we have this L, hit Ctrl X, new layer, Ctrl Shift V, let's call it as L and let's hide this. And we will, the last thing remaining is this R. Simply double click and type R over there. So now each and every stuff is on different, different layer. So this much portion is done. We will save this file as a Photoshop document. Now we will go to the After Effects. I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to call it as May Logo Animation. And width I'm going to choose 1920, height 180, frame rate is 30, duration is one minute long, and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Okay, so make sure that all these things are same over here and simply hit OK. Then we'll go to this option known as choose grid and guide option. Simply click on that. We will click on this title safe action. So we will get this kind of a, you know, camera like structure. Then over here, if you simply double click on this portion, after effect will allow us to import your file. Select this logo or uh, PSD file. Import as, right now it's footage. We need to choose composition, return layers and sizes. So it will allow us to animate all the layers which are inside that Photoshop document. Then simply hit import and hit OK. Then simply double click on it. 
Now over here, as you guys can see, the background is black because the composition color is black. But we don't need to animate this logo over here. I'm going to select all of this uh, layers. I'll hit Ctrl C, which is a shortcut key for copy. I'll go to the main animation and I'll hit Ctrl V over there. So now all of them are over here. And let's select all of them. Uh, simply hit Ctrl A to select all of them and try to bring them at the center. With the help of arrow keys as well, you can adjust their alignment. Okay. Now each and every stuff is properly on the place. You can still try to adjust. Okay. Now I'm going to select this cube and I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Go over here in this color options and change the color of this one to yellow. Now press P for position. Now let's select this position, right click and choose separate dimensions. So what will allow us that it will give us, uh, you know, two uh, separate keyframes for X position and Y position. Now I'm going to hide this cube over here, which is our extra cube. Now uh, we need to animate the Y position of this first. So let's create one keyframe at Y position. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to go somewhere around 20 frames and try to move this Y position somewhere around over here. Zoom in and it should touch the bottom of this R. Okay, like that. Then let's create one keyframe at X. Then go somewhere around 2 seconds over here. Lump that. Let's try to bring this X position of this somewhere around over here. Let's create one keyframe at Y. Go to around 3 seconds and let's try to bring this totally upwards like that okay now let's select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you check it out this animation if you make this fit we are gonna get this kind of uh, animation over there okay but as you guys can see this animation looks a little bit slow so by holding alt i'm going to select uh, select those keyframes all the keyframes and hold alt on your keyboard and try to bring this keyframes up to two seconds okay so if you check it out this you are gonna get something like that okay but if you want this animation to be a slow you can bring this up to three as well as to four seconds as well okay it's totally up to you how long you want your animation next to be gone okay but because we want this animation to be a smoother uh, i'll bring this up to let's say like the hold alt and i'm going to bring this up to 3.15 frames now after doing all of that I'm going to, at the start, if you see, there is no keyframe at X. So let's simply create one keyframe at X. Similarly, at the end, there is no keyframe over here. So let's create another keyframe. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select those and right click keyframe assistance and choose time reverse keyframes. So now these keyframes are reversed. So now it will come from here to here and then it will go over here. Okay. Now, after doing that, I'm going to select this cube. I'll right click and I'll go to the option called pre compose. Hit OK and let's call it as cube animation and hit OK. Okay, so if you check it out, this we've got this kind of our animation. Now, I want there should be a one line that should follow this. So, I'm going to go in my effect and presets panel and I'll search for eco effect and double click to apply. Let's go to the eco operator instead of add. Let's choose maximum and eco time over here. If you see this value, we have 0 0.0333 out of which this three we don't need. So simply delete it and type zero over there. Okay, so we need this value over here and the number of echoes I'm going to choose 30 or uh, even more than that you can add. Okay, and let's make this chord resolution. So if you check out this animation now, we got something like that. Okay, you can choose minimum as well. Then uh, you are not going to get that, you know, extra layer kind of a stuff. If you check it out this in full resolution, you are going to get this kind of uh, animation over there. Okay, but if you check it out this over here, we are getting this kind of a glitch. So to get rid of it, I'm going to select this. I'll go to the effect and presets panel and I'm going to search for fill effect and double click to apply. Then, as you guys know that we have uh, already created a duplicate of this, I'll select this cube. In the fill, we have this picker. I'm going to pick up this color and I'll pick this color. And then I'm going to hide this cube again. And let's make this uh, quarter resolution again. 
so if you check it out this we are gonna get this kind of uh, animation over there okay like that okay and if you want if you increase the number of echoes to 300 uh, obviously the left tail over here is gonna be a little bit bigger okay so it would be easy for us to animate okay like that then somewhere around at this point uh, over here uh, somewhere around at this point let's link this value to 180 only not too much and then somewhere around at this point i want select i'm going to select all of this and with the help of open square bracket i'm going to move this over here press p for position to create one keyframe then press t for opacity to create another keyframe hit u go somewhere around 3 seconds or 3.15 frames and you can click on this icon so it will enable this layers only again create one keyframe at position and one keyframe at opacity then go to the start over here and let's bring down the position downwards like this then let's make this value 0 of opacity then select those position and opacity keyframes and hit F9 go to the graph select this graph and by holding shift make this handle over here and let's choose this graph editor and let's minimize it okay i want this animation to be one by one so take a gap of 5 5 frames first add 2 go to the file select this end and move this over here with the help of open square bracket take a gap of 5 frames move this over here i'm pressing open square bracket to shift this layers like that okay so if you check it out this we are gonna get this kind of a stuff now let's disable this option and now if you check it out this animation over here we are gonna get something like that okay over here now there is one thing you can do over here let's select this eye hit u let's go to the end of the keyframe and i'm going to delete this keyframe okay because we don't need animation for that i want when this uh, cube is going to cover this eye this eye should get revealed so at this point this eye is covered by this cube animation so i'll stick this and with the help of open square bracket i'll simply move this over here. so now when you're gonna look at it it will look lump that all the alphabets are appearing by itself but this eye is appeared because this cube has covered that okay like that so if you check it out this we are gonna dip this cover first with logo really now after this let's delete this extra cube we don't need that i'm going to select all of this i'll press ctrl shift c to decompose and i'm going to call it as robo animation and hit ok then initial i'll press s let's make this scale one uh one one zero and create one keyframe somewhere around five to six seconds i'm going to make this value 95 and hit n over there so if i check it out this animation now along with this i'm gonna get that scaling anima okay then somewhere around at this point i'm gonna go in effect and pull set scanner and i'll search for the light which light sweep effect and double click to apply and let's bring this point to somewhere around over here and let's create one keyframe at center hit u and go somewhere around five seconds and i'm going to move this value from here to here okay like that so if you check it out this animation now we got this and then we will get this light strike over there and then at last press ctrl y to create one solid background and getting the star words like them and then go to the effect and piece panel and search for effect called cc wing set and double click to apply and let's choose the amount to 50 okay so with the help of that you're not gonna get a complete white background but you get a little bit grayish color over there and if you check it out this in full resolution uh, one thing uh, that is going to happen because we have applied eco effect it will get time to load this entire animation then you can choose quad resolution so it will take a less time to load and then after that you can simply export this animation so yep this is how you can create this kind of a simple logo reveal animation inside of after effects